exercise, whatever you choose, is, is going to be beneficial. But if you really want to start talking about performance, that's when you need to kick it up a notch and really focus on, on nutrition. And, and my starting point with, with nutrition is that it represents the, the framework that has to be in place for any sort of training, recovery, rehab program to be effective. I think there's a couple of ways of looking at it and uh, I think it's always smart to, to start with your everyday diet. One of the, the big things which is common across all sports, don't do anything different on game day, competition day, that you haven't practiced in, in training. So get really familiar with the uh, if using gels or a sports drink during the event. Practice that during training. Training for the nutrition aspect is, uh, is a really big part and it can make or break the success of your day. Another general rule is that uh, your nutrition before a training or a, or a sporting competition really should be geared towards performance. You want to have some easily digested foods that are not going to sit heavy in your stomach. That'll give you enough energy to, to perform the, the training bout, the competition. Drink the thirst. If it's not a particularly long training game environment, water is fine. You really don't need a lot of specialized products unless you're starting to, to push the envelope a little bit if it really is a prolonged event. Add in some of the sports drinks uh, and then perhaps consider some of the electrolytes. And then it's, it's afterwards where you might want to consider you know, following up on that, that refuel with a protein message. We know that protein is really important for recovery, repair, following activity. Aim for about 20 to 30 grams per meal depending on your size and your activity level and that's not a bad start. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.